Hey, shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Luke chapter 12, verses 54 through 56, and I'm going to be reading from the Tree of Life version, and these are the words of Yeshua the Messiah. He said, Then he also was saying to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you instantly say, Ah, a rainstorm is coming, and so it is. And when a south wind is blowing, you say, Ooh, it's going to be a scorcher. And so it is. Hypocrites, the surface of the earth and sky, you know how to interpret. Yet you do not know how to interpret this present time. I'm going to, I want to talk to you about fake news. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, it's a buzzword and it's, you know, all about the media, social media and, and everything. Uh, fake news. Yeshua was telling the Jewish people, he said, look, you could read the, the earth and the sky. You can tell what the weather's going to be like by just looking at the sky. You can, you can tell a lot about agriculture and about your crops by just looking at the earth. But you can't discern the signs of the times. You can't, uh, you, 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 you can't interpret this present time. So what, is it, what did he mean by that? He meant that they, they, they were carnal-minded. They were earthly-minded. They weren't spiritually-minded. They couldn't see beyond the physical realm, beyond the materialism and physicality of this world, into the deeper spiritual nuances and meanings behind it. In other words, they couldn't tell when and if and that prophecy was being fulfilled before their very eyes. Right there stood Yeshua, the Messiah, the one that was prophesied in Scripture, and they couldn't see it. He was standing right in front of their noses. They couldn't see it. And, uh, you know, and, and it even goes to show that even after maybe they, maybe they realized that he was the Son of God or that he was the Messiah, uh, you know, maybe some of them around them did, they thought, oh, well, he's, he's coming as the Messiah bin David, and he's going to uh, break the tyranny of this, this Roman occupation, and he's going to set up his kingdom in Jerusalem. When that didn't happen, they were all disillusioned. They failed to recognize the prophecy in Scripture that there were going to be uh, one Messiah, but coming in two forms. He was going to come first as uh, Messiah, son of Joseph, in other words, the suffering servant. And that's why John the Baptist, when he was in prison, he asked his disciples to ask Yeshua, it's like, are, are, you, are you the one or are we to look for another? Basically, he was saying, which Messiah are you? And he said, you know, tell John what you see. The, the dead are being raised. The, the sick are being healed. So those were the telltale signs that it was Messiah, son of Joseph, the suffering servant, the suffering Messiah that was going to come first. And then John realized, okay, you know, he's not going to come and bring the kingdom on earth just yet. Messiah ben David isn't coming yet. So in fake news, we, we, we watch the news and we just assume that the news organizations and agencies are telling us the truth that, oh, of course, they would never lie to us. But you know what? They have their own political agenda. They have their own worldviews. They have their own philosophies of life. They have their own religions. And whoever owns and runs the news media, that is going to be the spin and the interpretation of the news that you're going to get. So you watch three or four different news channels, you're going to get uh, three or four different reports on the very same thing. It's going to be uh, slightly differently opinionated and biased by just by the, the way that they look at it. So you have to dig deeper. You have to read between the lines. You have to sift through the bias and the judgmentalism and, and, and the worldview of that particular news agency or news tycoon and say, okay, what is the truth behind it? You know, and so that's what fake news is all about. And so that kind of links in with prophecy. We look around at the world and we look at the political system and we look at uh, uh, the, the, the socialistic aspects of the world. And sometimes, you know, we, we, we just get on the bandwagon of this cause that we really know nothing about and we can't see the prophetic significance behind it. We can't see the veneer that the world is trying to, to, to make everything look good and shiny and nice and that, that we're changing things and improving things and all of their good is actually uh, uh, going to be the downfall and the detriment of our nations uh, because their good is not based on the Torah. It's not based on the Bible. It's not based on Messiah. It's based on their own secular uh, um, uh, opinions and their relativism of what right and wrong is, which changes 
with every decade. You know, what was wrong 20 years ago, 50 years ago is no longer wrong. So, uh, you know, Yeshua said, discern the signs of the times. You can, you can uh, know what the sky, uh, what the weather's going to be by the sky and what the ground's going to do by just looking at it. Uh, don't, don't miss the signs of the times. Look behind the fakeness and the veneer that the, the, the world is trying to, to uh, blind people with. And uh, just be sober, alert, and vigilant, and be that watchman on the wall. Hey, thanks for watching. Shalom. Shavuotov. Hey, folks. Let me give you something to think about. Go to my YouTube channel, Ray Bashkatan, and look for the playlist, The Monthly Musings. There, you'll find a thought-provoking message from the Word of God for each month of the year.